Hi guys, so today we are going to install Project Elixir Android 14 on this S10 Plus. Let's do the settings. Firstly, go to About Phone, Software Information, then tick Build Number seven times. Now Password. Now go to Developer Options. Turn on OEM Unlocking. Now turn on USB debugging. Now let's go to the PC screen and set up. So one more thing that I forgot to tell you is that you have to remove the Samsung account which is very important. As you must as I'll tell you why it's important. When you open Odin and try to use it, it shows a warning. Firstly, go to account and then click sign out. As you can see now I have logged out of Samsung account. Now what you have to do is to firstly open Odin. You can see the warning that the Samsung and Google account should be removed before doing anything because it is really important. That's why I showed that how to remove the Samsung account. Now we have to click OK. You can see the Odin screen appears. Now power off your device. Unplug the USB. You can see it's powered off now. Now what you have to do is to let me focus. Yes. You have to click Bixby key and volume down key together. No power key, only these two keys. Now connect the USB in. And you can see this download screen. Now you have to, to unlock your device, click volume up. Long press. So we have to long press volume up this one so you can see it is saying that if you unlock the bootloader you have to fax to reset your phone see actually it is showing that my bootloader is unlocked so what happened is when i was recording the video i forgot to click the button and I already unlocked so I showed you it once again you can see it it would be same now you just have to click volume up and then your bootloader will be unlocked and the same way you can lock the bootloader as you can see I have the option to lock the bootloader so I have to not I do not have to lock the bootloader so I'll click no volume down and now my phone will boot into the ROM. You can see the warning screen. Phone's bootloader is already unlocked. Now again, power off your device. Unplug the USB. It's powered off now. Now again, go to the download mode. Now click big speed key and volume down key again and then connect. You can see the screen. Now we just have to go to download mode. So we have to click volume up to continue. You can see it's in download mode now and you can see the screen there it's saying com4 here com4 what we have to do is firstly go to options and click auto reboot now firstly we have to click ap and we have to click twrp now click cp and select vbmeta 
see this uh, Samsung devices this Odin works on tar so make sure you download the files which are there in dot tar mode although I have given the link in the description you can find the things in there now click start see it's done we have to boot we have to boot in this uh, TWRP recovery mode let's boot in boot your phone into TWRP recovery mode now leave volume down Now connect it. Firstly mount it. Now click on image installation. Now you'll find this 4.1 select recovery and flash. Now we have to reboot to recovery now just click factory reset Now do format cache partition. Now do format system partition. Now just click advance and now we have to apply the update from ADV. So firstly we need to Connect this with the computer and now now just open platform tools. I'll leave a link in the description. You just have to open it and extract and then you'll see the file. So platform tools. Okay, yeah here. You can see platform tools. Now just type CMD. Okay, firstly we need to select this. Apply from ABD, ADP, sorry. And this ADB side load will start. Now you just have to type ADB devices. You can see a device there. Now we have to click ADB side load. Space. Now just transfer this project laser file in here and click enter. Okay. I have disconnected it and once again connected now it's showing that this device is 
authorized now and it is saying site over. Now just type ADB side load and then just transfer this file in here, click enter. You can see the process has started and it is installing project elixir android 14. Uh, this recovery image that I just installed supports this uh, dynamic partition ROMs and I'll leave on the link in the description so don't worry about that. You can see there on the computer here just a second it's 5% right now and we need to wait it to get to 100% for installation you can see it is happening in there project elixir android 14 now just wait Install completed with status 0 and the script succeeded. Now, what you have to do is to once apply this factory reset. Okay, just plug it out first. Just factory reset it once or so that you do not face any issues. It's complete. Now go back and click on reboot system. You can also use your hands but I'm using buttons so that it is more clear. Now click enter. Now it will reboot to the system. Let's see whether we are done. So as you can see guys, this is Project Elixir Android 14.4.0. You can see this is booting into the ROM. So you can see it is there now. Let's set it up. Now you can see we are there in this. ROM Samsung S10 Plus and Android 14 Project Elixir 4.0 Also I think there is an update because right now I am running Android 4, uh, 14 4.0 but there is an update for 4.1 let me check it out So there is an update for 4.1 just can download it here and then apply the update but right now I'll do it later. So that's it for today. We'll meet you in the next video. Please like, subscribe, share the video to others. And I'll make another video showing you all the features of Project Elixir ROM. One thing let me tell you it comes default with this uh, unlimited photo backup. So. You do not have to use Pixelify. You can see this pixel can unlimited, uh, sorry, backup unlimited photos and videos as no charge. So, goodbye.